What's up, what's going on Legends? It's your boy Earl Shatter here, and today we have update 1.28. It'll be out in just a few hours, but we do have the patch notes available to us, so we're gonna go ahead and run right through them. See if they've done any changes at all. This isn't like the mid-season update or anything like that, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of things we see, if we see anything at all, and whether or not there will be any major changes. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First, we got our playlist update, which includes Modern Warfare, Ground War, Gunfight, Deathmatch Domination plus Drop Zone, Gun Game, TDM, and we have Headquarters Firefight. Teams can add to their score by capturing the Headquarters and also by getting kills. For Warzone, they removed Blood Money Quads, and they added Plunder Quads. Then we have our General Fixes, which we got a fix for an issue where the next unlock section was showing attachments out of order. Fixed an issue where teammates could spawn inside a closed off room on broadcast. Fix a bug where viewing the Nevermore execution in the menu could sometimes cause the animal model to get stuck. They fixed a bug where grenades could fall through the floor in the foreman's office while on the tank factory. Fixed a lighting issue with the Gilded Arm variant from the Season 6 Battle Pass. Fixed for an issue where players could experience a crash after reaching wave 45 or higher in survival mode. So they're kind of overall getting a glitch basically if you were getting super far in survival that's pretty frustrating can't imagine putting in all that time and then having it basically crash on you so it's good that they've got that figured out they've done overall some more improved stability for the pc for weapons there are some minor changes we have increased minimum damage at range on the car 98 in warzone so it looks like a buff to the car 98 this is fairly good since you know the spr kind of seems like it is it a little bit better but then they did nerf by reducing the minimum damage at range on the SPR-208. I'm wondering if this is going to be enough to balance them out equally. So whether or not using the CAR-98 or the SPR, you'll be at you know a reasonable place as far as your loadout is concerned. Now for Warzone, we got some fixes to help improve volume levels with the War Track slider. We have fixes to help prevent players from dying while completing the subway puzzle. We got a fix for a bug where players might not be able to access Bunker 11. Fix the gas mask bug where players attempt to complete the station puzzle. Fix for a bug where using a self-revive near the doors on the subway train, they will clip out of the train but still be transferred to the next station. That's kind of an odd bug, but as long as I guess it took you to the next station, it wasn't really too game-breaking. If a player dies post-doors closing of the subway car, they will be pulled out of the gulag by the fast travel system and then pulled back into the gulag for a match once it's their turn. This has been fixed. That's got to be a very strange bug. Um, glad, glad that they addressed that, because that would be kind of frustrating, I could imagine. And it probably takes you a little bit longer to get through your gulag, which could be, you know, overall kind of a bad thing based on whether or not your loadout is on the ground already, or maybe you're just trying to get to it as soon as possible. Then they fixed an issue where the player's view would be forcibly moved when exiting a vehicle or parachuting. And then also they fixed a bug where players could experience a crash after engaging with a bounty contract. So it sounds like bounties should be back here with this update. Just based on the fact that they've overall fixed the crashing issue with that. So that's going to be huge. I know a lot of people out there are kind of sad that these were gone. It's good to see those get implemented back and overall, you know, improve the Warzone experience. That's going to wrap things up for today's patch notes. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. Appreciate you guys for all the support. And if you guys did enjoy this video at any time, make sure you guys go down below and show your support of the channel by smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw a goal of 20 likes on today's video. As well as, if you guys are interested in finding me back to the channel, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button. Alongside that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Appreciate you guys for all the support in today's video. All the support on the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.